In this video, I will be describing my vision for producing an adaptation of The Window of Opportunity by Suzanne Laurie Parks. The reason that I chose this piece to produce is because out of all the works we read this year, it has stuck with me the most, even though it was the first one we read because there is just something about it that is so clever and so funny to me about the idea that there is a world in which there is an actual window of opportunity rather than just using that as a saying. In order to reach the largest amount of people that I can, I will produce this play as a short film version to be played before movies at the movie theater. I think that producing it as a short film recording before a movie would be the best way to reach a large audience, so I think it may be a little bit difficult to have people show up for just a four to five minute film recording. I really want large amounts of people to see it, hence wanting a large audience due to the impact I want this piece to have, which I will talk about a little bit later in this video. I was thinking about how I feel after I go to the movies, when I feel disoriented and can only think about the movie afterwards. I want the same feeling to happen when people watch my production of The Window of Opportunity, and I think a large portion of that feeling comes from the environment someone watches something. At a movie theater, it's dark and engrossing, being the only thing you can really focus on, as it's taboo and rude to be distracting with phones and such. This goes back to my theater manifesto, in which I talk about how I want theater to be bold as I want it to be the only thing that people focus on, and the only thing they can think about afterwards. So, The Window of Opportunity is obviously a very short work with only two characters, it's about three pages in all. so it's very important that when I am casting this production, that we hire the best actors for the role. So, when we're talking about the role of the Windowmeister, we want to hire someone who can be a bit grandiose, because I kind of envision the Windowmeister as someone who is very over the top and loud when it comes to saying their lines. So, in the original script, I know that the character is someone described with no unnecessary ceremony, but since I'm creating this to be shown before a movie, I want to change that part of his character to be a bit more entertaining for my audience. So I think that when they speak, it should be as if they are almost like an announcer in an event, which they kind of are since they're informing people of their chance to catch the window of opportunity. So I'm changing the way in which the window meister speaks because they're going to be a little bit more over the top with their speech. But I do want to keep in the fact that his motions are described as precise, so like when he opens the window or closes it. So, because I feel like it'll be a good combination of character choices that'll make them a really, like, actual, real 3D character. So, contrastingly, so when I'm casting the one who got away, so the person who missed the window of opportunity, I want to find someone a bit more understated, someone who you can, like, truly feel the disappointment of their misconnection. I think that with the Windowmeister being a bit more over the top and the more toned down version of the one who got away, it will provide a nice contrast that will both be entertaining and then effective at creating the sense of fleetingness I want my audience to absorb. I don't really have a gender in mind for either character. In the original script, they are both male characters, but I don't think being male is a requirement for either character. Gender is irrelevant to each character. Their ability to fit the type of character described previously by me in this video is going to be more important. So another major thing in my production will be the set. So in the original script for the play, the window is nothing fancy with a red and white check curtain on it. So in order to really show the importance of the window in my short film production of the work, I am envisioning a large window on a platform about 10 feet in the air, and then there's going to be stairs leading up to it. So I think that changing this to make the window on a platform will really drive home to the audience that choosing to partake in a window of opportunity takes some effort. The one who got away misses the window after trying to make it because they didn't go early enough. They missed it by just a bit, so I hope by physically seeing the person miss it by just a little after watching them run upstairs will make it clear that while they shouldn't be scared to take chances on opportunities in their own lives, they should be prepared to put some effort in. Windows of opportunity exist, but they also require action. The set will be put on a stage will just be like a traditional theater stage with the frame curtains and such. So then the production will then be recorded with the acting being done on stage, the recording being a one-shot deal as the scene is pretty short. In terms of camera work to record this piece, I don't envision it being super complex. I want it mainly to be one shot of the scene taking place, essentially being a recording of the work, like some of the plays we've watched. The main reason I want it recorded is so it can be displayed in the medium I have discussed like, as a short film before a movie. Likewise, there really will be no changes needed to the script, as it is pretty straightforward. Where there will be some changes are with the characters being in a bit in the set, so like the window meister being a little more grandiose and the set being a bit more extravagant. So in terms of the creative team for this work, one thing that is super important to me is having a collaborative and inclusive team working on the project, with everyone's voices being heard. 
So this goes back to that manifesto that created, in which I talked about people generally in the shadows, how some people aren't included as much in traditional theater. So I want to take those voices and make them heard. So, so often you hear about productions with a singular vision with no room for changes and input from others. I think it's important to have a vision for the work, but I think it's also important to understand that collaborating and hearing other voices can be really beneficial for the work. So in order to do that, we'll have at least two meetings a week during the production with the entire crew of actors, producers, myself, and other crew members to express thoughts and concerns about the work so they know they have the space to speak out about what they have to say and so they don't feel scared to do so. So this isn't to say that people don't have specific roles in the project, the actors will act, and the light technicians will light the set, but it's, it's to say that no one's voice is more important than another's. We all need each other's help to make this production vision a reality. So I'd also like to take this time in my video to clear confusion about whether this will be a play or a film. It's both. So I want to film the production of the play and have it be played in a movie theater as sort of a pre-movie video. It's like how we watch Anna Devere Smith's Notes from the Field. We are able to see the production without actually being there. So the logic behind this is getting as many people to see it as possible in order to spread the idea of taking chances in your own life. This production should not take too much time. The actual filming process will be pretty quick since the actual script is not very long. The true bulk of the production time will be the planning beforehand and the editing afterwards. So one of the main things I want to stay consistent from the original script for the window of opportunity and my production of it is the fact that the lines and words used are a bit odd. So the windowmeister has a really long line towards the beginning of the play saying things like ellipses, the dawn of time, the creation of the universe. It's a little jarring for the audience to hear, as it's not quite what they would have been expecting from the way when it began. I want to keep this language in because I feel like it captures the audience in a way that more than common language would. This script captivated me the first time we read it due to it being a bit more out there than anything else I had read before. It reads as comical, yet the underlying message of taking chances is serious. I like this contrast. It's important for me to keep it in my production to really hit home the message I want my production to include, which I will discuss next. So I wanted to produce the window of opportunity because I feel like it can have a really important message to my audience. I want to create a production that will make the audience feel like they have the ability to take chances, that it will cause some of the viewers of their production to take chances in their own lives, to take action. My dream reaction to watch someone watching my production would be for them to go home and take a chance on an opportunity they have been deciding whether to take. I want it to inspire people to be bold, to be a wake up call for someone to take action in their lives. So in this description of my production of The Window of Opportunity, I hope that you've gotten a sense of why I am adapting this specific production, how it's going to look, and what changes I am making to the original script and the characters in the set. I hope it will be a success.